Hi, sixth grade. So last week we learned about the strategy to combine things, to put them together, to make something new. Now we're going to learn about the strategy of rearrangement. And rearrangement is moving around the parts of a single object to create something new. So in this drawing, just a contour line drawing, the student took parts of a toy and moved them around and wrote a story about an evil toy maker who had a bad mind and put the arms and the heads in the wrong place. But artists have used this trick for a very, very long time. Like this portrait by Picasso, you can see he's moved around the woman's face. And when I shared this with students, um, they thought that it told the story of the feeling the woman was having. This drawing, or excuse me, this painting of a room lets us see different parts of the room by moving around the whole point of view. So we're going to practice rearrangement in a few ways. Um, we're not going to just turn something upside down like this sculpture, but we want to move around the parts in a more advanced way. So for this assignment, I'm going to have you find an object in your home or a photograph of an object or person. I'd like you to make a drawing that rearranges the object, but I still want you to use all three steps of your process. So first, draw the basic shapes. Second, add your contours. And then third, now that we have the ability, we're going to add value. This is going to be on be due on Tuesday, and when it's due, I'd like you to also include a story about the drawing you make. Good luck, and have fun.